I think we both were kind of worried uh, about, you know, why, why are you having such such severe back pain, you know, and you've lost a, a bit of weight and we can't tell exactly why, but at the same time, you have a Snickers for lunch and you operate on people's brains 14 hours a day. So it's it's somewhat explicable. And then um, even though we were both a bit worried, the, um, the, di- the moment of diagnosis was obviously shocking. Because it was stage four lung cancer. That's late stage. He'd been living with cancer for quite a while. How did he even get it? Was he a smoker? No, he didn't smoke. And it's interesting. Um, even as a doctor, I think I didn't, um, I didn't know as much about lung cancer, certainly, as I do now. And and the thing I would kind of reiterate to people is you don't have to smoke to get lung cancer. Um, and it's actually the top cancer killer. But as a doctor, wouldn't he have seen signs of illness in himself? Or do doctors just ignore those things and only look for them in others? Um, I think a little of both, probably. It's a really good question. Um, but with with um, with lung cancer, cough was one of the last symptoms he got. Um, he sort of got more systemic um, fatigue and all that stuff first.